Welcome to Flooring Models, kit review time. Today we've got a new one from Trumpeter. This is the 135th scale, yes, 35th scale. Uh, this is their Dolphin 2. Okay, this is the AS365N2 version. Um, we saw this one in 148th and it was a bit of a surprise when this one first turned up because to be honest, um, I didn't realize I'd do one in 135th. As you can see from the old box art, a cracking box art on the front as always. Okay, a little bit about the actual helicopter itself. You can see we've got a little bit of photo etch, some nice colorful decals. Your kit number, as you can see there, is 05106. Okay, a little bit more about on the other side and everything else like that. So in the box, the usual very strong sturdy box. So I haven't opened this one at all. So it's all very new. So we've got the obligatory blurb sheet there. Um, let's look at the manual. So we've got the manual just here. So what we're going to do is poke that right there. Let's have a look through the manual first. So um, as I say, we've seen this 148, but obviously it's something a little bit new. We can get all of this in like this. So you've got your usual part callouts and everything else in there. Two sheets of photo etch and your actual decals. Okay, so making your way through, usual thing as you can imagine, we're starting off with, actually we're not, we're starting off with the bulkhead, uh, front bulkhead with the radar in the nose, then we're coming in with the seating thing right the way through, there's obviously quite a few seats in this one, uh, and then working on the cockpit floor, adding all the details onto them, nice little touch. Decals for the instrument panels it looks like, but you know, that's uh, perfectly acceptable. Okay, and then putting in all the seats in there, control surfaces, rudder pedals, things like that as you can imagine. So, working on, it's gonna be that usual thing of actually having the internals and then you're gonna have the shell system fitting on the outside which we saw on the 48th version. So, plenty going on in there, putting up all the framework right the way through, putting on that front section in number one part into there. Then, as we can imagine, the normal thing with helicopters is all the glazing work and this is no doubt exactly the same. So popping all of that in it is that decision do you put it in now or do you sort of right wait and put it in afterwards <sighs> there's no right or wrong to it definitely it's personal choice on this one and the way that you because you're putting this glass in before you even put the halves together so i can see the fours and against to it um it's purely so you can actually work the glass each side otherwise if you're just doing it as a whole you've got to sort of push the glass in and hope it doesn't go too far in and things like that so it is easier to do it as a separate it's just that then you run the risk as obviously over sprays and things getting into them already Anyway, exactly the same for the other side. Then you've got the halves then gonna be going together. So you put in the tail rotor, the famous dolphin tail rotor system, uh, the enclosed one into the, the tail itself. And then we've got, as we saw before, quite a nice detailed engine, very nice. It uh, lends itself really well to a little bit of scratch building, a little bit of wiring, things like that. You've got the head as well, the rotor head, and then obviously putting it all together to give you that top section, as you can see here, which puts all that in. Next up is going to be building the housing around all of that. So we've got the front part and then the rear, then the sides going on. And then obviously it's just a case of putting the tail on uh, with the tail planes. And then the nose. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So you've got two versions. I did one though, because obviously you're not going to do all that work for nothing. So you can either have it in the open position, which is folded up or closed. Okay. And then it's just a simple thing for putting the gear on, which is pretty straightforward on the Dolphin. Okay, and then you've got the skid on the rear plate going in there as well. Rotor blades going on. Looks like they're a push fit in, which would be a nice, because obviously it is a bit of a problem displaying these. So if you could just pop off that actual rotor, that would be a really nice little touch, because then you can put it inside your display case, perhaps with the rotors removed, and it's not taking up too much room. Generally, really, really nice. We've got the color callouts, as you can imagine. So we've got the marine one down there uh, with a nice day glow bottom. Uh, that's the only option you get in here. Then we get the parts. So starting off, which gives you a good idea of the size of the actual kit you're going to be dealing with, we have the fuselage halves. So there we go. Doesn't look too bad at all. Very, very nice. Very strong, crisp styrene, uh, as you can see right the way through. No problems that I can see. No real flash anywhere. Looks to be pretty good. To be honest, these bits, as you can see down here, do look a little bit softly molded. This is the overhead console, just a little bit. And they've got the instrument panel. Uh, can pop out the right way for you. Um, this guy down here, you know, obviously you're going to be putting them in, so you've got options on there, but just a little bit softly. But generally, you might be able to see some of the finer details. Doesn't look too bad at all. 
pretty nice all of those down in there. It's gonna be perfectly adequate to what we're thinking. They're nice, they're all in line, all crisp. Obviously, we've gotta cut all this work out down here uh, and everything else, but generally pretty good. The only thing that worries me, if I'm honest, these this um, uh, door area down here, obviously we've got to take out these ejector pins on these corners of all of this, okay? And it's just a case of snipping in. You could bow or slightly put out of alignment these corners. So it might be what we call the old hot knife trick where obviously you heat up a blade, then come in and cut it. That way it just slices straight through instead of going there with traditional nips and snizzers and things like that or a blade because you could push out these corners which are going to affect the glass. So we're just sort of hoping that the glass goes in there really nicely. Apart from that, it does give you the sort of scale of the actual kit. It doesn't look too bad at all like that, but generally pretty good. There's no obviously internal detail because um, it's all gonna be in a separate confined area. Uh, so as you can see on here, it's probably easier on the close up as you can see, you've got your, your various points. So this is that instrument um, system for the radar is gonna fit into the nose. We've got one of the side, I don't, actually this could be the center console in here. We've got the rudder pedals uh, and everything else. One of the little bulkheads there and everything. And generally pretty nicely done. Nothing overly the top detailed, uh, if we're honest, but it's all adequate. I don't think this one's going to be setting any sort of standards in modeling, but it certainly doesn't look too bad. Again, we probably do this on our close-up cam better, as you can see. So this is your internal for the turbine uh, on the rear. Um, then obviously over here, these are the housings, various things, and then for the, the main engines, towels on here, some nice little details on those, as you can see, some various bits and pieces. These are the gear doors, I assume, uh, on there just like that. Um, nothing really on the inside, no ejector pins where it matters, so that's quite nice. The only thing is, obviously, if you're going to be having things open, we've got ejector pins all in here and things. And then, all separately bagged, which is a lovely little touch. Okay. So in this one again, as you can see, looking around it, you know, generally, I don't think you can, um, you know, complain about any of it. It's just a little bit soft molded these aerials here seem to be a little bit softly molded compared to what we're used to uh, generally looking around at all the parts they're all pretty good it's a nice level of detail you might see the riveting detail on these guys and working away around but some of these other parts I don't know they're just a little bit thick and chunky now is this because this is an upgrade from a 48th scale kit and you're just getting losing that detail a little bit but you know you have got nice touches like the blades here you've got things where you can get in there with a screwdriver down the side of them and all the rest of it a little bit of wiring work perhaps on the inside here a nice little touch but it's just i don't know it's lacking a little bit of finesse uh and details so this guy down here we've got this sprue here again pretty good no problems at all a little bit flashy but again uh, nothing you would have a, a mass problem with shall we say it's all pretty good it's you know just quite so getting used to it but just looking at the parts like these are quite nice got some nice level of detail in these you know there's no real burring or any problems to them all this wiring doesn't look too bad on these down here uh, and everything else the intakes very nicely done they're quite seamlessly taken care of in there seeing the different angles and things um as i say it's it's all here it's just not sharp i would like to see a little bit more detail i am wondering if this is just an upscale from a 48 scale uh, and everything else so the seats multiple sets nice little touch here uh, as you can see we've got some nice cushions which have actually got molded in you catch them in the light you can see them uh, I've actually got texture, which gives them a real nice look, which really brings it alive, which beats them being, you know, something just like these where it would be flat. These have actually got proper cushions with actually marks in them and all the rest of it, dents and things that will catch very nice with dry brushing and washes and various things over them and filters. So nice touch on those. If they'll sit on top of each other. Okay, so what have we got here? We have. Just another overhead panel. Looks like we've had two of them, or perhaps one was a side one. Again, just looking over it, as you can see, pretty good. As I say, nothing you'd ever write home about, though. No problems with any flash and everything else like that. All pretty good. But again, we've got another set of pedals in here. I don't know why we've got two. 
that's the only difference on that so pretty good with those no problem at all um, blades I don't think we really need to get these out as you can see we've got the blades and the wheels in these parts here and in the bag there's no weight on wheels they're just literally two halves going together and everything else like that but the blades themselves seem to be all okay they've got a slight canter down to them the way that they're actually in the thing you probably see it here the way they're lifting up uh, as I say to give you that weight on blade look which is pretty nice but again, you get two complete sets of blades. Why would you get two complete sets of blades? I'm just seeing if there's any differences between the two. They're both cantered up. Yeah, a little bit odd that. Can't actually see a difference between the blades, but you get two full sets because we've got two sprues in here. So actually, we've got an eight bladed variety. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming these are all going to be the glass bits. Let's have a look in these. Okay, so more cushions and details, as you can see. Nothing really to write home about in those. Some bulkheads and the floor. Again, we don't need to really have a look at those. That's pretty standard. Okay, bulkheads again. Not very lively or anything else. That's just pretty stand and get the glare off there we go just like that these are the interesting bits so in here we've got and they are air sealed so they're a little bit bubbly okay we've actually got in here hopefully the clear parts okay so what we can do having a look pretty nice actually that's very nice all of those cannot complain as you can see against my hand there you've got no problem with any real difference you know you the big thing is when you move it across you can't see any distortion you know the clear bit you can see up here where it's running across i've got no real distortion between it and that is a curved part as you can see so that is beautifully done no problem with that at all in fact that's uh, really really nice to see that I'm just gonna pop that in there and then the next one we've got we'll get him out Come on. stuck in there on the tape okay all right and again you can see it against the background nothing at all and again if we just repeat the same no real distortions anywhere with any of those at all yet yeah, they're all on a slight canter they are all absolutely crystal clear beautifully they are literally like pieces of glass no problem with any of those at all really really nice and then these are our photo etch bits so again as you can see we've got a couple of little bits down there a couple of harnesses on the back and then lots of harnesses for all the systems so we've got uh, two on each so you've got 12 harnesses down there uh, yeah okay very nice indeed and then we have the decals which have a quick look in the decals usually very very good okay just trying to get in here and there we go deckle sheet itself really really nice got that little bit of filmy stuff on there but that goes by the time you're doing it all okay it's nothing to write home about these are pretty much generic type stuff going around here we haven't got any real wording that you could get excited about but generally that's all pretty good no problem in there at all i think that's all going to be good so there we go what have i done with the box top there it is Ugh. So there we go. That is a trumpeter little gem. If you go into it, 135th scale dolphin, that is definitely the kit to go for.